Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac unto Jacob and Esau were born of him Jacob hand held the heels of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessing to the brothers that push this word in sincerity and in truth. Alright, the brother Howard from James Trinidad, here to do all the lelification through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahshai. You know, and there's rumors going around right now that Esau, you have to love Esau, right? You know, a lot of men, a few guys saying that you're supposed to love Esau. But let me hear what the scripture has to say about Esau, right? The Lord said he's going to destroy Esau, you know? So, we start from Deuteronomy, book of Deuteronomy 24 and, um, and 20. Right, um, bam, bam, it says, the fuck, I saw it. So, like, my bad, numbers 24. Numbers 24 and verse 20. It says, I will read from I will read from 18. It says, And Edom shall be a possession. Right? Edom is Esau, the, the so called white man, the so called right race. Right? Edom shall be a possession. Say, also shall be a possession for his enemies for his enemies and Israel shall do valiantly right so let me go into some words here let me make this clear to you guys let me go into some words Edomites, Idunians, right? Descendants of Esau, which is the so called white man, as you may know, right? It says he shall be a possession and say, when you look up the word say, Patriarch. The inhabitants of Edom before the descendants of Esau, the Edomites. The land of Edom, right? The land of Edom. Right? It says, also shall be a possession. It sure shall be a possession and property. Also shall. Also shall be a possession for his enemies. And Israel shall do what? Valiantly, strength, might, efficiency, wealth over Edom, right? We're going on. Verse 19 it says, Out of Jacob shall come, out of Jacob shall shall come, he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. Destroy who him? We just read about Esau. And his possession, right? And when he looked on Amalek, who is Amalek? He also a descendant of Esau, dweller of the valley, son of Eliphaz, by his concubine Tena, Timna, grandson of Esau. So he's a he stems from Esau, right? He took up his parable and said, "Now, 
this parable is with Balak and Balaam, right? When they could read the whole the whole scripture, right? It says, and he looked. It was twenty. Right? Verse 20, it says, And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek, right? Which is a descendant of Esau, the grandson of Esau, was the first of all nations. Because what? Because why? Because why? Um... Bam, ba, bam, bam. This is why. This is why. The second is verse 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world. What the fuck? 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Esau were born of him. Jacob held, a, held, a, held. And held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow it. When you read in Genesis chapter 25. And 25 it says. And the first came out red all over. Like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Maybe so like, yeah, what, uh, I was talking about something. Yes, I was saying Genesis 25 25. It says, And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. Right? So Esau was the first. Esau was the first. Ah. So like, Esau came out first. Right? Going on. Read it. Numbers 24 and um, 20 it says, And when he looked on Amalek, he took up this power and said, Amalek was the first of the nation, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Right? This is not love. Right? So you you guys were saying basically that hey the, the Lord the Lord um we should love Esau. So. In other words, you, you guys saying Esau not going to slavery. Right? You saying that Esau the, the so-called white is not going to slavery. Right? And this scripture is where you guys pulling out here right now. Uh, Matthew so that Matthew twenty Matthew, uh, not 20, Matthew, Matthew 5, 43, Matthew 5 and 43, right? You, G you um, GMS, um, ex-GMS bugged out neuralized members. Ex members, so like when Matthew 40, Matthew 5 and 43 says, It says, Ye have heard that I have it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. Right? Because the scripture speak about if your enemy um, asks straight away, you should, um, you should, what you call it, you know, um. Cried back onto your, onto your, um, onto your brother, and the Lord stay that. You know, I can't remember which law in particular, you know, but it stay that. But when I was speaking about enemy, I was speaking about, it was actually speaking about your brother, right? People are the same nation, your Israelite brother. Your Israelite brother could be your enemy. You know, for some reason, you and him fall out. You know when it happened, it happens. It had nothing, you understand everybody wasn't perfect. Even when you read in the book um Second Maccabees um 
Unias. It's Unias. I think his name was Unias. When the um, when he Unias was the was the priest, and he brought um. He brought a child over three priests, so there's some kind of thing of this sort. I will see if I can get an account. I will see if I can get an account, you know. I think it's um second it um second is just twenty four no second is like sec, second as second as second Maccabees um four second Maccabees four um Right. Um, three, it says, Now when the holy city was inhabited with all peace, and the laws were kept very well because of the godliness, godliness of Onias, the high priest, and his hatred, and his hatred of wickedness, it came to pass that even the king it, him, um, themselves did honor the place and magnify the temple with their best gifts in so much that um, Sel Selculus of, of Assyria of his own um, reverence bear all the cost be belonging to the service of the sacrifice. But one Simon of the tribe of Benjamin, who was made governor of the temple, fell out with the high priest about this order in the city. And when he could not over, overcome Onias, he got him to Apollius, the son of um, Thurses, who then was governor of the um, Celio, Syria, and Phenes. You know, and if you, if you read on, I'm going to read the whole thing, but you, you, you get the point. You know, it's the same brother, the same kin. From um, the tribe of Benjamin and had a fallen out. So this is speaking about this speaking about the Israelite like, brother. This, this this um chapter and the next chapter is a good chapter to read. You know, so when you speak about um enemy, it says you shall hate the enemy. But I say verse forty four. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. And pray for them with the, the spite for the use use you and persecute you. This is not speaking about Esau. No, my friend, this is not speaking about Esau. Because when you look up the word enemy, you look up the word the origin of the word enemy, it goes back to it goes back to Latin 9th century Latin word, which means enemy. Right? Which means enemy, and it go, and that means what? A bad. It actually means a bad friend or an evil friend. Right. right. When you type in the word, when you type in the, um, where, the type in the, where did the word enemy come from? You know, and you had to know to use your tools as men of the Lord. Apostle Gabal would say, says, enemy comes from the ninth century Latin word enemy, derived from Latin for bad friend. In the make us true French, right? A bad friend. Esau cannot be a bad friend. So Esau cannot be a bad friend. Because he's not a brother. Um,
Amos, Amos 1 and 9, it says, Thus seek Yahweh. Um, Amos 1 and mm -mm. 1 and 6, it says, Thus said Yahweh, for three transgression of Gaza and for the four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. And it's like, yeah, again, we ain't living on you, and where does it go? Right, it, um, it says, Thus said Yahweh, for three transgression of Gaza and four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they carried captive to deliver them up to Edom, but I will. I will send fire on the walls of Gaza, which shall devour the places thereof. I will cut off the inhabitants of Ashdod and him that holdeth this, this scepter from Ashkelon. And I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of, Phil of the Philistines shall punish. Um, said Yahweh, thus said Yahweh, for three transgression of Tyrus, and for I will not turn away my punishment. Therefore, because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom, and remember not the brotherly covenant. Um, but I will send fire on the walls of Tyrus, which shall devour the places they have the city Hawa for three transgression of Edom and four I will not turn away the punishment they have because they did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity right and his anger did tear perpetually and kept his wrath forever all right, he kept his wrath forever. So Esau broke that brotherly covenant. They broke that brotherly covenant. That is why he can't be. He can't be a bad friend. He, he not in the category of being a bad friend. He's an enemy, right? The Lord separated the nations, right? He separate. He separated the nations, right? See. It says what. Um, twenty three says, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. The elder which is Esau. He will serve each nation. I when you read in the book of Second Ezra, chapter six and nine, all right. But you so have no, it have no way that you're supposed to be good with the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so will not make it. Or you're supposed to love them, right? It have no way. Um. But I one eighteen. It says, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Read that in the um, blue letter. Obadiah 1. Eighteen. Read this whole chapter alone. It says, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kind and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for Yahweh had spoken it right and we know that the nation of Israel exists today and which, which means the nation of Esau will be in existence today right if Israel exists today hey Esau Exist today also. Um, right. Um, I was going at 
Yes. When you compare this here now, it says, um, where's the one? It says, Esau and the children of Jacob will be a fire, and those of Joseph a flame, and the children of Esau's um, stems of grass burnt up by them till all is gone, and there will be no people living in Esau. For Yahweh had said it. The people of Jacob, hey, the people of Jacob in easy English and Joseph family will kill all the people that belong to Esau family. Esau's family. This is what the Lord said. This is what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said. Right? The Lord have no mercy and no love for you, so. Right? Um, Malachi 1 and 1, it says, The burden of the word of Yahweh of Israel by Malachi, I have loved you, said Yahweh. Yet say, Yet ye see wherein hast thou loved us, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right? Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh. Of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw them, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever, forever, right? Forever, I will have long duration. And this forever speaking about forever, right? So hopefully this video was already fine. Um, one more scripture. Um, try March forty nine. Um. It says concerning Edom, thus said Yahweh, power of hosts is wisdom no more in Timon, is counsel perished from the prudent, is their wisdom vanished, is their wisdom vanished, flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I am Dedan. For shites, for I will bring the calamity right of Esau upon him. The time that I will visit him, the time that Yahashai, Abashim Yahashai will visit him as well. The time of destruction, the ultimate destruction, right? Around the time of World War Three, because the Lord going on, the Lord going on, make his his his, his appearance. When all these, these scriptures talk about um and look um in the house of a a flame um how it does go um shall I not um see if I remember it um
I am Luke twelve one forty nine here. It says, "I am come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it be already kindled?" Right. So when that will what will watch you already happening. When that will watch you already happening. That when the Lord will and make His appearance, right? Because the place will already be a kindle, you know. So yeah. So you saw you saw going down. You saw going down. You ain't supposed to love the super white race after all the things that they did. You know, Yahusha says a righteous thing in the book of um second Thessalonians one and six. The righteous thing with him with the most side of compensation tribulation on them that travel thee. You know, um Yeah. So with that, I give all praises to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahshem, and double honesty to the apostles of Green Moose, who rule well. Hopefully, this video was edifying. We say Shalom.